Welcome to Play Unplugged TV. I'm your host, Enrico Nardini, and we have another Play Unplugged unboxing submitted for your approval today, the Miskatonic School for Girls. And when I saw this box, I had to do an unboxing of it. Number one, I'm an unabashed lover of H.P. Lovecraft. He is definitely my favorite author. I'm a pulp author from the 1920s, 30s. Uh, tremendous horror fiction uh, was you know, considered inspirational by other authors like Stephen King. Um, the thing about Lovecraft is the saddest thing probably um, about this is how much he's inspired gaming and gamers and there's so many different games, miniature games, role playing games, card games. Um, and now a lot of things are kind of approaching it also with a, a kind of a lighthearted uh, comedic uh, attitude. And so this is an example of that, this Miskatonic School for Girls. Um, my understanding of this product is this is actually the product of a successful kick, uh, Kickstarter campaign. And man, it is really nice looking. Um, box is very professional, has some really cool artwork. Uh, definitely trying to parody and evoke uh, some of the Harry Potter with the, with the crest with the four different houses. And that's actually part of the game. There are apparently four different houses within the uh, Miskatonic school. Um, before I even open the box, I just want to kind of share with you the letter at the back because I, I think it's very humorous. Dear parent, welcome to the Miskatonic School for Girls. We're so glad you decided to have your daughter attend our exclusive school. Our faculty is looking forward to instructing your child in all that the world, and in fact the universe, has to offer. Hopefully your daughter will survive the experience in a manner that you will be happy with. Or not. Whatever. It's too late now. Please remember that parents are not allowed to visit during the school year except for our annual oddly shaped ribbed cook-off that honors the memory of any children that might go missing between now and then. Sincerely, N.R. Lahotep. Just uh, right off the bat, like when you're reading this, you're like, how could you not pick this up? Uh, so anyway, the contents, according to the back of the box, uh, 100, more than 190 cards featuring artwork by Betsy Peter Schmidt. I'm not familiar, but uh, we'll get a chance to check that out. It also includes some blank cards to allow you to customize your game. Kind of reminds me a little bit in that regard of the, uh, the old Illuminati card game. Uh, a rule book to instruct you, be careful, knowledge can be dangerous. Anyone who's familiar with, um, say, the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game understands that. Four house boards shaped like paddles, hee hee. Counters for counting things, it's a good thing for counters to do. The box, it's the thing you're reading. It also has the names of all the Kickstarter backers on it. And four ounces of hopelessness, which I, I, I can't wait to see. So uh, this one, the <laughs> there is a skin-tight wrapper around this one, probably sealed for my protection. Uh, from the Outer Gods, but uh, we're going to crack it open anyway. All right. And I always say let's take a look, look at what lurks inside, but I definitely mean it this time. All right. Nice, sturdy, glossy box. Beautiful, actually. Really nice, glossy box. I and mean, I know I've said before it's kind of goofy to get excited about a box. It's a really nice box. All right. Let's crack this puppy open. Some cool artwork along the sides. Oh wow, this is awesome actually. I love this. Kickstarters have become a huge thing uh, when it comes to gaming products, especially products where they feel like there's kind of a niche audience. And how cool is that to be recognized? You know, if you were a part of this Kickstarter, that's gotta be awesome to have your name on the side of this box. It's very cool. Very, very cool to be a part of uh, putting this product together, especially because it's looking pretty nice so far. All right, so. We've got some boards. Oh, all right, so these are the paddles, and you can see they're kind of paddle-shaped like the old school paddle. And so, let's see, we've got, it's got a sanity tracker. Uh, I, I assume uh, you lose when your sanity reaches zero, very similar to other uh, Cthulhu-inspired games that way. Um, there's a purchase section, a deck section. It says classroom here. Uh, discard face up, interesting. Okay, and locker. All right, so there's a couple different things. Um, and I guess this is, you start your starting sanity and we can see here's uh, this girl becoming unhinged and then finally losing it. I wonder if these boards are all the same. Yeah, they are. Okay, so each person has a board. It's, this is gonna be more for tracking. It's not that the uh, individual boards represent different groups. So these all appear to be the same. Very nice, high quality, glossy. All right. And so this is the last one. Yeah. I'm going to put these off to the side. There's a rule book. It's a pamphlet style rule book. Nice full color. 
Um, looks pretty. I like the uh, rules are laid out really nicely. It looks very clean. Um, looks like it's going to be, uh, and, and many deck building games are this way, and it's kind of one of the benefits is that this, since the cards are probably the things that actually break the rules or change the rules, the basic rules doesn't seem to be much to them. There seems pretty uh, like this would be a really quick read and get started right away. Put that off to the side. Uh, nice little box organization here. And this is kind of the majority of the product now. Um, you know, is this tray, and it holds all the, uh, all the rest of the components. So we've got, looks like, in the center, it said counters for counting things. And so, just four uh, glass beads. They're probably for putting on the track. And we've got, I don't wonder if these are four decks or if this, well, no, it's a deck building game, so you're going to probably put these all together. But there are four separate sets of cards. So let's take a look at some of these. It looks like, oh, let me see if I can get these things open. They look very secure. Oh, these look like nice plasticized cards, though, which I really like because they're going to be easy to shuffle. I'm going to grab that knife again. I'm going to be very careful not to mark this. Okay. Crack that open. Get the plastic off. So right off the bat, looking at the cards, and I'll lay these out. The art looks nice. The cards seem pretty sturdy. They've had, like you, know, like you said before, they've had some kind of like plasticization, plasticization pro process put on them. Um, and it looks like these are characters. So some of them, you know, this one looks pretty basic. Uh, some basic stats and then the blank at the bottom, but I guess some of them are going to have special rules. And the art looks really nice. Very well done. Um, and there we're talking about, so I guess there are going to be characters you're going to be able to make. And I think these cards are for the faculty, and so you'll be able to make those too, which is actually, that's very cool. Uh, and I guess these, who knows, these might be events or something like that. So here's one cracked open section of cards. And I'm going to put these over here. I'm going to grab the next set. I just want to see um, some things that are not uh, not the actual characters. Though this one might also be characters. Take a quick look. And yes, okay, so this one's more characters. And uh, we can see there's some decent variety here. I wonder if these ones are from a separate section because the bottoms of the cards look different. Instead of the torn out paper, these ones are, um, these ones have a, a, a more like just a, a, just a rectangle. Put that away. And yeah, as I suspected, it looks like these kind of cards, the ones that have the paddle and the worm and all that on them. Oh, and there's some equipment it looks like in here. Um, these cards are, the faculty, the various faculty members at the school. Uh, and then I, I imagine staff too, faculty and staff, of course. We can, the building can't run itself. Uh, so here's, you know, so the coach, and these guys are suitably uh, deranged in some way. We see this uh, this teacher, oh, no, this, this secretary has some kind of spell book. I love this. Officer Dagon, he looks like a deep one. That's excellent. It's actually quite great. Uh, Herbert West, uh, the reanimator, apparently is a staff member. That's good to have. Uh, in case anybody at the school dies, I'd imagine that's a good thing. Oh, that's awesome. One of the elder things. Or not elder, what, what am I saying? Not one of the elder things. Great race of Yith. Great race of Yith there. Um, excellent. Very cool. So yeah, a lot of inspired art design here for the faculty and staff. And the last one, I, I love the first card on here. There's a substitute, and he looks like a ghoul <laughs> smoking a cigarette. I think. Oh, no, that's chalk. He's smoking a pipe. And yeah, tons of substitute cards. And we've got uh, transfer students. Alright folks, 
course, that was the Miskatonic School for Girls deck building card game. Uh, I can't wait to actually get a chance to play the game. Look for a review coming up on Play Unplugged. Uh, you can find out more about Play Unplugged TV, things that are going on in Play Unplugged, read our reviews, uh, check out our hobby tips, uh, check out our game news at www.playunplugged.com. Please make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, all that good social media stuff. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Hey! <laughs>